use it until I upgraded to the Fitbit Sense. And the Fitbit Sense, to me, is just, it, this is the pinnacle of the Fitbit products because it comes with the EKG. So it has the, it has the stress level and it has the heart rate monitor and it gives you all the notifications and the watch faces are all changeable. So look at this, I'm just going through all this watch face. I can see all my goals without any swiping. I just have to touch the screen. And that was the SPO2. So if you guys are not familiar, this is gonna be giving you your oxygen levels and your skin temperature, um, which is really cool. You can change all your settings here. You can, I'm gonna turn on screen wake and then we're gonna turn on uh, adaptive. This is sleep mode, unsleep mode. We'll turn on, on always on display. So now always on display means on the Fitbits. This is gonna be able to turn on automatically um, every time it's on. So what it, what it means is it never the screen never turns off. The, basically the screen never turns off. How does that negatively impact battery life? It really doesn't impact it that much. You really, with always on and without always on, it, it's a difference about maybe 20% and for a, for a watch. So Fitbit claims about five days. I get about four days. And if you wanna get your notifications, that's easy as well. There's a button on the side. You can do your notifications just by swiping down. You can see here are your apps. I'm going to I'm going to explain to you how I use my Fitbit and how it helps me with my life. Watch. I'm going to turn it on and I got the baby, right? I got the baby. So, heart rate steps. This is my activity score. So, this is how many st this is my stairs, you know, on my weather I have my EDA score and that's your stress level or or people who never had a Fitbit don't know. EDA scan, voice assistant, so I can assign, I can ask my Amazon assistant or a Google assistant to do whatever. We have our alarms. Alarms is really great. Agenda. Okay, so you're like, okay, now suddenly I have the ability to add apps. I can order at Starbucks. I can control my Spotify. I can download songs to it. I can find my phone. I got Pandora. I can do, I can play a game like Deezer, so we can play a game, ECG, and what do you use it for? So if you're wondering what do you use the information that you get on the watch for, one, sleeping sleeping patterns. This watch, exceptionally good for sleeping patterns. Two, the app, it gives you access to the Fitbit community as well as contest. So instead of having for you, you the user, you, 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 the user having to create everything, do the contest, set it all up, find the friends, do it all in the app. You just click it and you join it and it will do everything for you. It will say, okay, this is the schedule you're gonna keep. This is what you wanna do. It's gonna basically be like a personal trainer on the go. Name me another watch that has that other than the Samsung, the Garmin's and the Apple's. It is one of the best features now as a fitness band the Fitbits stand out because what does it have? It has GPS tracking. GPS tracking at an affordable price along with the health metrics. Why would you ever use this? Again, if you want to know your sleep, do you know your sleep like this? Like I know my sleep really intimately now. Like I know what time I fall asleep, how much I'm getting. And actually, I'm not saying this is perfect because the last like three hours of these are always blue because I'm with the baby. You see that red is when I usually wake up. So it's not, I know that I'm not getting a lot of sleep, but I know exactly what times the baby's waking up. So that information does it. Your phone does not do this. So let me explain something. What does your, your phone, even if you put it on the bed, it doesn't do it. Why? Because it doesn't do this. It can't detect your core temperature, your skin temperature, as well as your oxygen levels while you sleep. I wanna look at your BPM. I know my BPM all the time, right? This is my resting BPM. So now you know what days you're most stressed out on. So health management, the information, like everything, the information and how you use it is what makes it so important. About just 12 minutes, so just about 12 minutes, it'll give you a full day's charge. That's not gonna give you a 100% charge, but you can use it for a day just on 12 minutes. About a full charge will take you just about a little more than an hour in my, within my testing of it. To show you 37% right there. And, and in terms of its output draw, it's drawing two watts. Getting our Fitbit sense. 
47 grams with the strap on. 47 grams with the strap on. One of our favorite smartwatches for anyone to get with their home. It just works. It looks good. 